Hillary Clinton's campaign is shoring up blue states and even exploring red states, trying to keep Donald Trump from bouncing back. But for yet another day, she's off the campaign trail, preparing for her final debate Wednesday. She's outsourcing her work to other Democrats, like Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, who are piling on Trump. A selfish little sleazeball. A man who will never be president of the United States. Not only is he going to lose this election, but he and his billionaire friends are going to start paying their fair share of taxes. Tonight, all eyes on Arizona, a once reliable Republican state that may suddenly be up for grabs. The Clinton campaign making new investments and sending one of its biggest weapons, Michelle Obama. You guys are fired up! Three weeks before Election Day, Clinton is in the driver's seat, but still facing fallout over the FBI investigation into her email server. The FBI today denying a quid pro quo in its fight with the State Department over the classification level of email on Clinton's private server. A newly released document suggests a top State Department official pressured the FBI to declassify certain emails, possibly in exchange for offering help stationing FBI agents overseas. Congressional Republicans say it's another example Clinton mishandled classified information. All this as more hacked campaign email published by WikiLeaks. Some of Clinton's paid speeches to Goldman Sachs that Sanders railed against during the primary now disclosed. I, I believe Secretary Clinton should release the transcripts. Clinton's words at odds with the populist rhetoric in her party. In a 2013 paid speech, she suggested Wall Street should regulate itself, saying, the people that know the industry better than anybody are the people who work in the industry. The Clinton campaign is entering the final stretch with an edge in money and momentum. Clinton and her allies started the month with $152 million in the bank, new figures show, while Trump had only half that. She's also leading nationally. The latest CNN poll of polls finds Clinton with an eight-point edge over Trump among likely voters. In a new television ad, Clinton is now portraying Trump as a bully, using classic old movie scenes to bring alive her argument. That's why it's important to stand up to bullies wherever they are and why we shouldn't let anybody bully his way into the presidency. As her campaign tries running up the score, Clinton increasingly extending her hand and looking ahead to after the election. The visions are being deepened that we're going to have to try to heal. So our job doesn't end after this election.